Hello? Hello? What about now? Can you hear me? Hello, hello. 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 Let's try. Can you hear me, Sonia? Yes. Hello. Yes, yes, yes. I cannot hear you. Hold on. Can you hear me? Yes. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Now we are going to change to this because it's easier for me. Oh, now I can hear you crystal clear. So, hello, Sonia. How can I help you? Tell me. Do you have any doubts? Help, I, nah, I need your feedback. <laughs> okay, tell me, tell me, tell me. Um, how, do you, how do you say? Que necesito que, que usted me comente cómo ve, que, en qué me ha visto débil o, o qué oh. es que me puede dar o algo. Well, right now, Sonia, you are, you are very good. Actually, I can see, yes, I can, I can hear that your speaking is very good. Your listening is nice because you understand everything. And for the level, you are doing great. Perfect. <laughs> no, actually you are. You are ahead of what we are watching. Realmente la siento adelantada. ¿Sabe que me cuesta? Yo no siento que me cueste tanto pronunciar una vez ya lo escucho. Pero de repente... Um, Como que articular toda mi idea, aunque ya lo hayamos visto, si me cuesta un poco. Entonces, debo entender que eso es pura práctica. Pero no sé si me puede dar alguna recomendación o consejo. O okay. cómo hacer, porque se me, se me van. Se me van. Ok. Yes, I understand you clearly. The problem is this. You want to think in English. Usted quiere ya pensar en inglés. Ajá. Ok. That's just with practice. Eso viene con la práctica. Let, I'll give you some tricks. Le voy a dar unas, unos trucos, algunas ideas that can help you, okay? Que le pueden ayudar. Mm -hmm. First, what you can do is this. Uh, why don't you, por qué no, in the morning, start practicing like the activities you perform. Comienza a practicar. Uh, Usted se levanta temprano, right? Cuando se levanta. Mm -hmm. Remember, I wake up, I take a shower, I get dressed. O sea, como vaya repitiéndose en su mente las actividades que va haciendo. Ok? Ok. Mm -hmm. And it can, I mean, it can sound weird. Puede sonar raro, but it's normal. You go like that. Like, oh, this is lunch. Los objetos que ve a su alrededor, palabras que identifique. Practicing, practicing, practicing. Okay. With the pass of time, that will, go, that will become a reflex. Con el paso del tiempo se vuelve un reflejo. Do you have kids? Yes, I have two kids. Okay. Uh, one girl and one boy. How old she... are they? She have a uh, fifteen she years old. She is fifteen. Uh, she is. She is fifteen years old, and uh -huh. he is twelve yes. years old. Okay, uh -huh. tell me, how are they doing in English? Como van ellos en inglés? Ah, but basic. Okay. Well, Lupe, give me three minutes. Okay. 
Ok, eh, ¿Cómo es aunque? Aunque. Even. ¿Cómo sería? Even. 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 Though. Even. Aunque. Y que... even do eh, de, mejor que yo. Un poco mejor Better que than yo. Me. Better than me. Better than me. Better than me. Practice, practice the, the little vocabulary you are getting here. Practice it with them. El poquito vocabulario okay. que está obteniendo acá, practíquelo con ellos. Like with your daughter. There are some things that you can in common. Algunas cosas que tienen en común, like makeup. Yeah, me corrige <laughs> cuando me corrige. That's perfect. That's uh -huh. practice. Practice it more at home. Practíquelo más. That's going to help you to practice. And now, el último detalle. No trate de analizarlo, porque uh -huh. usted no está en el nivel. El problema es este, cuando somos adultos, nosotros queremos saber por qué y por qué se dice así. ¿Dónde es da? que eso me pasa. ¿Dónde Vea, da? pero es que yo tengo como un sistema de aprendizaje en el que a, a mí me cuesta esto de que comencemos practicando, porque yo primero entiendo el fondo de una situación o, 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 o las razones de por qué, y entonces de ahí, si yo entiendo eso, lo sé desempeñar y lo sé hacer. Así okay, es mi forma, pero ahorita es como que me siento como fuera de control quizás por eso. Yes, because we are face, we are starting with vocabulary, porque hemos comenzado directamente con vocabulario. Uh -huh. Let's do something else. Hagamos algo más. Eh, uh -huh. Send me a text tomorrow in the morning. Can you? ¿Puedes textearme mañana por la mañana? Sí. And I will send you some info that it's going to help you. Le voy a dar unas guías que le van a ayudar. Ah, okay. super bien. Uh -huh. Thanks. Let's do that. Okay. Any other thing? Algo más? Only. Thanks. Okay. No, thanks to you. Have a good night. Good night. Bye. Bye. Okay, I'm waiting for Guadalupe. Okay, let's see, let's see. Oh, there she comes. She's coming, she's coming. That's great, that's great. Excellent. Hello, Miss. How are you? Hello. I'm sorry. My connection is a problem. Oh, it's giving you a problem? Yes, always. Okay, okay, no problem, no problem. Tell me, Guadalupe, how can I help you? ¿Cómo le puedo ayudar? Um, 
No le escuché. I don't, uh, I don't. I didn't listen. Listen, listen you. Uh, the Finnish explication because my connection um, was interrupted. Okay. I was explaining the homework. Le explicaba la tarea. No. La, the oh, minutes... right now. Uh huh. Okay. No, I was just asking you, how could I help you? Eh, no, no, es de los minutos faltantes que hay que reponer, me dijo. Y... Oh, no, 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 but that's my business. Eso no me preocupa, eso es cuestión mía. Never mind. Oh, um... In your no. case, in your case, it's very important that you stay in only classes. Usted sí la necesito que me esté en todas las clases. Because you fail one and two. The problem that I have with you, with the loop, is that some classes you were just for a few minutes. Algunos días como que tuvo más problemas con la conexión, right? Sí. Yes. Okay. So I will need you to be like, try to be on time. But tell me, during the class, or is there any topic, something that I could help you with? That you feel that it's difficult for you to understand, perhaps? No, no, for the moment, I don't pronunciation. Maybe? Pronunciation. Okay. You want to practice pronunciation. Yes. That's, that's interesting. Well, the first thing you could do, la más fácil, is with the music. I told you the other day in class. Do you remember? Every day. <laughs> okay. Every day. There's also another option that you could take. Let me see. I usually... Um... Spotify and uh, the music match. Okay. But those are good, but there's also some other options you could use. Like uh, you're in the platform, right? Yes. Okay. Are you working there? Me está trabajando ahí? No, no, no. But um, that, You've been doing uh, Yes. Okay. I will show you why. Ya le explico por qué. Just let me log in. Déjame ingresar. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to share with you. Voy a compartir. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to share with you this. Le voy a compartir eso. Let's see, this is English Principiante level one, okay? Okay, you get like this, right? Usted le llega, usted lo abre, veamos, no, aquí estoy como está, como learner. Okay? You see it like this, usted lo ve así. Okay, now. Pay attention to these steps. Présteme la atención a estos pasos. You get to centro de ayuda. Ok. Now. Let me see. Let me see. Se me viene acá abajo. Recursos académicos. Ok. You got grammar. You got pronunciation. You see? What do you want? Reading and intonation, sound drills, pronunciation guide. Let's check one. Veamos uno. Pronunciation guide. You get introduction to sound on the vocal track, to American English vowels, long vowels, short E sound. Okay, you got here, look. A lot of exercise. Now, that's just one of them. You got 
something else. You got sound drills. Okay. Here you can see there's a lot of activities that you can use. Okay. Remember, it's in resources. Where are you? You were exactly here. Remember, you went to Centro de Ayuda. Yes. Okay, there you can find help. Also, something else that you could do, algo más que podría hacer, is this. Okay. Let me show you. Okay, something else that you can do is the following. Algo más que puedo hacer es lo siguiente. You can come here. And you can get like section four, section four. Ahí no hemos llegado todavía, right? That's next week, es la próxima semana. Okay, let's see. You see here, video conference number 16. Esa clase no la hemos tenido. But here, Mr. Jose Sainz has prepared some videos. These videos are from us. Estos videos son nuestros, okay? This belongs to Indias Corporativo. And here you have some listening exercises. Ahí tiene ejercicios de listening. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. yes. So that can also help you. And you can tell me, okay, but I'm asking for pronunciation. Yes, but it's the same. Es lo mismo. Because, as I tell you, como son ejercicios de pronunciación, Eh, como son listening, usted puede poner el listening en tratar de repeat and repeat, ok? The pronunciation. ¿Sí? Yes, thank you. Ok. Tell me, is there any other way I could help you? ¿Hay otra cosita en la que le puede ayudar? Mm, no, it's only. I'm sorry? It's only. Okay, something else is this. Look, uh, we could, if you want, we could like uh, tomorrow, si usted le parece, mañana, text me and I can help you send you, you some other tricks. Le puedo mandar una ayudadita extra mañana. Okay? Yes. Tomorrow in the morning, in the morning, because in the afternoon I'm going to be very busy. Por la tarde voy a estar muy ocupado, but in the morning I can help you, okay? Yes. Okay. Thank you for being here. Gracias por haberme acompañado. Yes, and thank you for you. No, and if you have any other doubt, please don't hesitate. Cualquier otra duda, por favor. No dude, I'm sorry. No, okay. You can no, ask okay. me anytime, okay? Puede preguntarme a cualquier hora. No problem. Thank you. Good night. Thanks to you. Bye bye. Okay, let's see if somebody else comes here. Veamos si alguien más se nos conecta. Close this other material that we have. Oh, no, this is okay.
Okay, let's see. Let's check out who do we have set for next then company for Proxima. I think she's not able to stay here. Let's see by Susanna. are going to wait a few seconds for this dear lady to see if she's able to connect
while we are waiting. We have post a message to see if somebody else is interested. Okay, the 
Vamos ver. Mais here, mais here, mais here, mais here. Para mais. Let's check it out. What can we talk about today? Let's see. Okay, guys. Guys, the WH questions. Now let's see. Let's talk a little bit about the WH questions. What are they? What do we use them for? Okay. These are called question words. Okay. And we use question words to ask certain types of questions. We often refer to these words as WH words because they include the letters WH, for example, why, how. Okay, just let me get my glasses on. Perfect. Why, how. Now, what? When do we use what? We use what when asking for information about something. An example, what is your name? We use what when asking for repetition or confirmation. What? I can hear you. Now, we can also use what for. When do we use as for? Okay, when asking for a reason. Okay, like, why did you, why did you go to the store for? That could be an example. We use when, when asking about time. When did he leave? Where? We use where when asking in or at, when we are asking about a place or a position. Where do they live? Where do they study? Where do they work? Where do you work? We use which and as I explained in the class, we use which when we have options, when we can make a choice, okay? We are asking about choice. Which color do you want? Which uh, soda do you, do you prefer? Okay? Then we have who. Okay, who. Who we use it when asking what or which person, like who opened the door? Who, who ate my pineapple? Who drank my soda? Okay. Now, we have also who's. And this is different. When do we use who's? Well, we use who's when asking about the ownership of something. Like, uh, who's this cell phone? Oh, it's mine. Who's this cell phone? Oh, it's Rose. Okay. Whose are those keys? Or if we are like in a in a line in a queue, whose turn is it? Then we use why. When do you use? Hmm. Oh, we forgot whom. Whom? We use whom when we ask what or which person, like uh, whom did you see? That could be an example. Then let's go to why. When do we use why? Okay, we use why when asking for reason. We are asking what for, like why do you say that? Remember, always, whenever we have why, we answer with because, okay? Now, 
Next, why don't? When do we use this? Okay, we use this when making a suggestion, okay? Uh, why don't you come to classes? Why didn't you attend today? How? We use how to ask about manner or also to ask about condition or quality. Like, how does it work? How was your exam? Okay. Now, how we can combine it with adjectives? Okay. And I'll give you some examples like, uh, how far? When do we use how far? Oh, when we want to know about distance. How far is Pattaya from my course? How far is London from Spain? How far is your job from your house? How many? We use, oh, I'm sorry, how, yes, how many? We use it when we want to talk about quantity, but that quantity is countable. Like, how many fingers are here? Oh, one, two, three, four, five. Countable. How many fingers are here? Oh, just one, two. Countable. We use how much when we want to know about quantity, but this quantity is uncountable. Like, how much water do you drink a day? Oh, you tell me two liters. Yes, but liters is a unit, a measurement. Okay. The quantity is uncountable. Water is uncountable. You cannot say one water, two waters, three waters. That's not acceptable. Okay. Now, how long? We use how long when we talk about length or the time or space. I explained that. How long does it take you to get home? Okay. Or how long is your home from your job? Now, how old? Old. That one we don't like it. We use how old when we talk about age, okay? Like, how old are you? How old is your sister? How old is your brother? How old is your mother? How old are your kids? Then we have one that is a little bit informal. Like, how come? We use how come when asking for reason. It's actually like, sorry, it's actually like asking why. How come I can see you? How come I can see you tonight? How come I'm alone in this class? Oh, well, I am not, you're watching me, okay? Now, just give me a second. We are going to continue talking about the WH questions. Okay. We are going to give some examples. Now we are going to focus on examples. Right? Let's see. Okay. Remember, essentially there are two types of questions. We have yes no questions and we have WH questions. WH questions are so called because with the exception of the question word how, all of them begin with the letters WH. They're also called uh, information questions or open questions. Why? Because the number of possible responses is limitless. It depends on the person who's answering. This means that they have to be answer with more information than just saying yes or no okay that's something that we must remember next 
remember, as I just told you a few minutes ago, we have who, what, when, where, why, how, which, whose, whom. Okay. And as I told you before, who and whom are used to obtain information about a person or people? Am I talking about? Okay, I'm talking about this. We use uh, who is at the door? Rose is at the door. Who wants a soda? Oh, I want a soda. Who is he going out with? Oh, he's going out with M. You see? Simple. Now, what is used to request information about somebody or something? What is this? Oh, this is a dog. What did he say? Oh, he said, be quiet, be quiet. Uh, what are you having for lunch? Oh, I am having chicken. When? When is used to obtain information about the time period in which an action occurs. Okay, as an example. When does Rose arrive? Oh, she arrives at 12 at noon, okay? Imagine you are going out with somebody and you uh, finish just a date and you ask the person, when I can, when can I see you again? And then you get the answer, I don't know when. Or perhaps you get the answer, let's see each other tomorrow. Okay. Now, when was the TV program? Oh, I forgot it was yesterday. I'm sorry I didn't tell you. You see, always we are answering with information. Where? Where is used to obtain information about the location of a person or something. As an example, where does... Hmm, where does Kim lives? Okay. Kim lives in Santa Monica. Where were the kids? Oh, the kids were in the car. Why? Why is used to obtain information about the reason something happens or the reason somebody does something? Okay. Like, why is this on the table? Oh, because we ha are having people over for dinner. Hmm. Why did you leave? Oh, I had a meeting. Why haven't you called? Oh, man, I lost my cell phone. You see, I'm, I am giving information. Okay, as I told you, how come is an informal way to ask why, and that's for American English. Like, why are you late? How come you're late? Why did you go? How come you went? Okay. How is used to obtain information about the way something happens or the manner or way somebody behaves or does something. How does this machine work? Okay, push the green button. How is your mother? Oh, thank you. She's much better. Okay. Wish. Wish is used to obtain information in order to make a comparison between two or more similar things or people. Okay. Which of these pencils do you like? Oh, I like the red one. Which author do you enjoy? Oh, I enjoy reading Sir Walter Scott. Which river is wider, the Nile or the Amazon? Oh, the Amazon is wider. Whose? 
whose is used to obtain information about who something belongs to, like whose book is on the table, whose cell phone is this, whose idea was that. Okay, that's when we use who. Okay, let's see. Well, that will be it. We're just going to wait a few minutes to see if somebody else comes around. Wow, these guys are awesome. They are already sending the, the homework. That's just great.
we're going to rest our ears for a few minutes. Let's just wait one or two more minutes.
Well, it is time. See you next week.